Well, the men's 4x100 meter relay is our next event on the track. We saw a thrilling race in the women's sprint relay. Let's see if we're going to get this again. Switzerland, Ukraine, Poland, Netherlands, Great Britain, Germany, France and Italy. The Netherlands were the champions back in 2012, fifth last time when the Britons won, and Germany was second on both those last two European championships. France, they were the champions back in 2010 and then two-thirds, but of course they don't have Lemaitre in this team, who is such a star in European sprinting, not taking part this time. Great Britain, very good in the heat, and it's got the same team with Dasayola, Jamili, Ellington and Uja. Germany led off by their national record holder at 100 metres, Julian Roos. In the inside, Mancini, Chenko, Soma Sundaram and Wilson are the Swiss team. Then Ukraine with Kravtsov, Suprun, Bodrov and Kors. Poland, Zimniewicz, Slovikowski, Pavlovski and Zalewski. Now we'll hear the applause for this talented Dutch team. Solomon Bakari, Jorandi Martina, Patrick van Leek and Giovanni Codrington. Martina, the splendid winner of the individual 100 metres, only to be disqualified when he crossed the line first in the 200. That's the all-star British team. James Dasiola, Adam Jamili, James Ellington and Shijundu Uja. They're concentrating on the relay. Most of them didn't run in the individual events. Strong German team and a well drilled one too, which is so important. Rus, Nifals, Schmidt, and Jakubczyk. France have Rene, Dutambi, Zizi, and Vico. And Italy, Ferraro, Cataneo, Manenti, and the fine youngster, Filippo Tortu, to bring them home. Men's 4x100 metres. Britain fastest in the heats. But most of their team have been involved in some problems with dropping batons in relays before. Let's hope they get it round OK this time. The Germans are very strong and consistent. And there'll be massive support for the Dutch team. Can they emulate what they've just seen achieved by their women sprinters? Netherlands in four, Britain in five, Germany in six. In this final with a four by one. So off they go to great roars from the crowd. A terrific start by Rose. Oh, it's pulling up. It's a false start. Well, tension can only build. Bruce had got uh, furthest down the track at that stage. Curious, because none of the athletes' reaction time was anywhere near the 0.100. In fact, um, they were mostly very slowly away, so I'm really not quite sure what happened then. But I think it's likely to be a full T start. So while we um, wait for the meeting in which some champions are really delivering, others in which there are upsets. So Jimmy Vico can but wait. It's on the last leg for France, co-European record holder. There's a lot of examination at the um, start with the starting equipment. Just a quick word to say, this is the European Athletics live stream, brought to you with the support of SPA, and a big thank you as well to European Athletics. Other international partners, Omega, Eurovision, and... ...being displayed to the athletes, a faulty start, which uh, clearly we could see by the reaction times that we've been given, so let's hope we get underway without problem at the second time of asking. The men's 4 by 100 metres relay. Switzerland, Ukraine, Poland, Netherlands, Britain, Germany, France, Italy. Oh, 
Now views away very fast for Germany, being tracked by Dasayolo and by Bakari for the Netherlands. And it looks like uh, Germany and Britain. Let's see how these changeovers are. Well, they're both safe. And the Dutch flying along the back straight. Martina going for the Netherlands. But he's got uh, Jamelia Britain that is still clearly ahead of him. And the German team with Nifos to Schmidt. Britain have Pavlovsky, Netherlands have Van Leyk. Those are the three teams, the three we've been looking out for. And it's Great Britain who've taken the bat on first and being brought home here by Chajindu Uja. The battle really on for the second and a fine run by Ginny Vico has brought the French up. And it's Britain who win in 38-1-8, almost exactly replicating the heat time there and some fine sprinting. And the sheer class of all four runners really paying off there as they managed to get the baton round. And what a fine run by Vico on the anchor leg. Took France through to the silver medal with Germany in third and the Netherlands a very creditable fourth place. Well, you said the sheer class of the four runners. I was watching Great Britain and Northern Ireland very closely and it was a very shaky changeover indeed between Adam Gemelli and James Ellington on the handover between the second and third legs, but they did get it round indeed. And, well, these four men, very, very quick individuals and if they can actually get the baton round, they're going to be very difficult to beat, certainly at a European Championships. But it was very close when we'll see on the replay that second handover was a very shaky one indeed. Well, let's uh, look again then. Dasaiola led off for Britain. And he'll hand over to Adam Jamili. So this is Jamili down the back straight. And he's going to hand over to Ellington, who's a very experienced third leg runner. This is the one Phil was talking about. Yeah, that's not ideal. No. A long short. I, I think and Ellington then, got away a bit too quickly there. And Ellington to Uja here. That's been a problem before, but this time that was OK. That was very solid, without a doubt. But look at the way Vico then steams past the final leg German runner to take France to silver. The results of the men's 4 by 100 meter relay. Great Britain, the gold at 38.17. From France, 38.38. And Germany, 38.47.